Good morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime, wherever and whenever you may be watching. Thanks for clicking. Today's video is going to be kind of a first impressions of Ganymede Extrate and comparing that directly to Ganymede Eau de Parfum. As you've seen, I've only got samples. I don't own a full bottle of either. Just price-wise, Ganymede Eau de Parfum, you can get it in a 30ml bottle for £90 or the 100ml bottle, I think it's 150 I'll try and leave it on the video. Ganymede Extrait only comes in 50 ml bottles and it is £260. So it's quite pricey. If you want to get a sample, Le Centres does a 2 ml sample and it costs me £8 plus postage, probably around that sort of £12, £13 mark. But Le Centres is the only place I could find it. As I said, this is going to be more of like a first impressions and how I think each one compares to the other. I'm going to spray each one on the back of a wrist. This room is going to smell for the next 40 days of Ganymede. So on this wrist, we have Ganymede's Eau de Parfum. It's the very last bit that I have. I have grown to love this fragrance. When I first smelled it, I liked it a lot. It was very different. It was not like anything I'd ever smelled before. And then just over the weeks, and to be fair, I probably had this like two months because it's so strong one spray, especially now the weather's a bit warmer, one spray is all you need. It's just so nice and different. And as I keep saying, to me, there's that Goldilocks zone of fragrances where they're extremely unique, but they're not so daring that you couldn't wear it out and about. You know what I mean? This is that Goldilocks fragrance. For someone who's into perfume, someone who perhaps collects perfume, who wants something different, this is definitely that. But also, this one, you could, I would say you could even wear maybe in an office scenario, maybe not if you're not really like crammed tight in, in sort of like a box office, maybe it'll be too strong. But in an open office, I'd say you could wear this. Because it just smells like class. It smells like opulence. It smells mineral and earthy but done in a suit it smells like money ganymede eau de parfum grown to love it let's talk about the extract ganymede extract going on the left hand immediately more spicy than ganymede eau de parfum it does smell richer and deeper I wouldn't say, like, I was about to say that maybe it's not so much stronger off the bat, but then all I can smell now is Ganymede Extrait. When I sprayed that, Ganymede Eau de Parfum, I had to put my wrist close to my nose, you know, to get the waffs. The Extrait version is all that I can smell right now, and my wrist isn't near my nose. It's so strong and I suppose that's where you can justify the 260 pound on 50 mil like I said earlier one spray of Ganymede Eau de Parfum is enough that basically to me says that half a spray of Ganymede Extrait would be enough it's thicker it's denser it's spicier to me it's very reminiscent of like a curry plant not quite like curry spices and things like that, but if you've ever, like especially after it's rained, if you have a garden with a curry plant in it, there's this earthy curry sort of smell in the air, which is very nice, but that is front and centre to my nose. So if you're not a fan of that sort of spicy, edible kind of, not in a gourmand way, but again, it reminds me of curry. Um... If you're not into that, you're not going to like it because that to me is very front and center. Yeah, it just, for me, the minerality of this is sort of lost a little bit with the extract. At the moment, I would say I probably prefer the Eau de Parfum, but that's because I've had it for a few months. This I've only had for about two or three days. So give it a few more wearings and who knows. There's not loads more to say because it is just a first impression comparing the two on the initial opening. This is a bit brighter, a bit, a bit more mineral, 
whereas this is denser, thicker, spicier. They're both very strong fragrances, but Ganymede Extrait is Extrait. It is very, very powerful. Couldn't imagine wearing it on hot days, whereas this, I could imagine wearing it year round. I think Extrait would do best in the slightly colder months, maybe start of spring and then going into autumn and winter. Both fantastic fragrances. I think if you like Eau de Parfum, you should definitely give this a go because there is a lot there that's similar, but this Ganymede Extrait is just deeper, richer, spicier. Yeah, smells like a curry plant. Thanks for watching. Peace.